G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts Channel. I've just recently acquired myself a vintage 978 RCA TK7760 Plumicon Tube Colour Camera. This camera was apparently probably used by HSV7 in the late 70s and the early part of the 80s. It uses free black and white Plumicon tubes for um, to produce a free tube color image. This is actually a TK760, but mounted in a studio type enclosure for studio work. Now I've powered up this camera. And it is making a picture, which is excellent. It is actually making the colour bars too. However, it's got some kind of imminent fault problem, which I'm getting some kind of psychedelic image. It'll go back to normal at some point, and then it'll go back to this psychedelic sort of image, which looks pretty cool as an effect, but not desirable for, for what I want to use it for. So it's some fault I have to somehow get technical advice and somehow fix. Even the colour bars sort of go a bit faulty too. When it does make a half decent picture it is more of a ye red, yellow, greeny sort of picture so I guess it's not, I guess there'd probably be some problem either with the blue, the tube used for, for the blue primary colour or some sort of fault within the circuitry that drives a blue tube or the, perhaps the matrixing of the of the free colour signals and also the viewfinder is working then it's not working so there's a problem there too but it's a really good start that this camera is actually working actually outputting a picture and and the focusing is very good and and you can even and you can even adjust the white balance you can adjust the contrast or sort of contrast comparator I guess I don't know exactly what it does there's also you can select the red green and blue primaries and um, I guess that's external triggering perhaps I guess if you hook this up to a external CCU now these these cameras surprisingly are actually self-contained you don't need a CCU to actually run them which is really cool I'm not sure what this M button does um, Go back to colour bars again. Still a bit faulty, but, the, but as seen in the video earlier, the colour bars were were as how they should be. Still no picture on the viewfinder. Oh, there is, but it's pretty much like a embossed silhouette. Anyhow, this. It's probably the first one this camera's been powered up in, I guess, nearly 30 odd years. Hopefully I'll somehow get it up and working and producing wonderful colour pictures that are of broad, broadcast grade quality. Power it down and power it back up again. See what happens.
Yeah, still no change. I'm not try and plugging the viewfinder, see if that makes a difference. So no viewfinders, if they go a bit on the blink, they can they can also cause problems with the output of the image as well. Let's see how we go without viewfinder. Hmm, still no change. Now I have to say, so running it in its current state would make pretty cool as, in a, as a video effects camera. So it's quite a cool looking image. Anyways, another great project for myself. Hopefully sometime soon I'll get the know-how to correct this problem causing this kind of fault. And this is Troy from the Troy's Visual Arts Channel signing out.